Hi everybody, I'm Santa Slow Dog, and today we have a box from Spork Syndicate. Now a little while back, Tom from Spork Syndicate, or Tommy as his friends call him. No, I don't know if his friends actually call him Tommy. So anyways, uh, Tommy, and, Tommy and I, we, we did a, a, a buddy build right? And uh, we normally just send them to each other once we're done with them. And uh, truth be told, I forgot that I was sending mine to him when I built it. So I didn't really build it for what Tom would like. But I think he liked it anyways. I don't know. Go back and take a look at the comments. All right. So here we go. You know, you'd think that this is a holiday or something, like a birthday or Christmas, with the amount of tape that he put on this thing. Now, if anybody that you talk to that's gotten a birthday present or a Christmas present from me might tell you that it's got a little bit of tape on it. I still don't think I know how that feels. Which is not a challenge for the next box. Okay. So we have... Oh. This box is full. Alright. I don't know if you can see that from there. See, I heard something. Are you kidding me? I think I got a bank with money in it. <laughs> okay, you hear that? Well... Either that or there's something going on here. But, um, so anyways, I, uh, <laughs> all right, Tom, you got some explaining to do. Uh, or is this you, Jackson? All right, so um, that, that might be re-gifted or it might be for Grinchwitch. I'll have to take a look at the note. So what we have here is a 76 Chevy Chevette, right? I have something wrapped here. Well, let's go ahead and open it. Maybe I need to get one of those knives that the Godfather has. I don't know. Evidently, you can get a whole set for like 600 bucks. Supposed to be a good deal. Okay. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Killer of Rock and Roll, and I were, uh, I don't know if you've been to his channel or not, Killer of Rock and Roll, Custom Hot Wheels, Hot Wheel Customs. Uh, we were just actually talking about this very, this exact wagon. I've been customizing um, the Nova wagon from this series. This is the Hot Wagon series, and... Uh, I think Killer's making me a custom from this one. I wonder what I'll do with this one. There's a dog in the back. I never knew that before, but if you take a look at it, there's a dog in the back. So there you go, and off it goes. All right. Well, once again, there's a school bus. I love doing customs to school buses. The nice thing about this top is um, I'm starting to try to figure out how to engrave and it's a it's a great canvas so more of that to be seen in the future uh, a 62 Corvette I still don't know what this is all about you'll have to explain that to me uh, 55 Gasser. That's 
stuff out of the way. Wow. Okay. So, Tom, what you wouldn't know is, because I don't, I didn't tell you about this, but I actually went to, I saw this one at a big box store that starts with a W. Well, I'll have to pay me for an endorsement. Anyway, so I went to this big box store and I saw this. And there are times you have to make a decision. Am I going to take this or am I going to take that? And this stayed there that day. The next time that I went back, you know how it works. It wasn't there anymore. All right. Good call, Tom. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um... All right, so here's the other problem with this one, though, Tom. I mean, the only problem with this one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it. Somebody else likes my good stuff. Oh, look at that. She's already reaching for it. Okay. Now this, it does, oh my, Tom, really? Really, Tom? You... You, 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 one, I love it. Thank you. I mean, wow, that's a new level, right? Um, I got some fabricating to do, unless there's another part in here, which is fine. I don't think that's how you get the money out. But this thing is awesome. Um... We're lucky it doesn't have any moving parts, or I'd probably lose this one to the Grinch Witch as well. Okay. Which is fine. I mean, you know, you share with the people that you don't have any choice to share with. Okay. All right. And this is just one of her many very heavy banks. And she... Lost her penny. Okay. And the show must go on. Wow. Okay. This is awesome. All right. Uh, I like what you did here, Tom. So I'll probably have to put this on the turntable later so that you can see it a little bit better. But... Um, yeah, I love the striping that you did with this. If you go back and you take a look at the Christmas trade that I did with Tom, I think you will see why he did that to this Batman. At least, I suspect that's the reason. This is awesome. Very cool, very cool. Feels like Christmas all over again. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, this is not a Datsun 510. This is a 470 Ford Escort, right? And whenever I see this car and I look at it quickly, I think it's a Datsun. Well, it's not. It's Ford. I didn't have this one. I do now. Thank you, Tom. I should probably like paint it up and put dots in on it so that uh, it fools the next person. Um, and here we have the mustache. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you guys know about this one, but uh, you know what? We're just going to open this one up right now and show you. Because this one, well... All right, some of us break our toys as soon as we get them. Look, it's fixed. But I have to tell you, I have a mustache. So this is the mustache. Comes right out, which leaves a nice centerpiece, right? And, uh, yeah, you just clip that back in. All right. Here we go. And I don't have this version. Um... All right, you know what? 
I'm gonna have some fun here today. So, Christmas trade, I made one of these for Charles, of uh, the original one, uh, Charles Diecast Garage. Go check out his page or just pull up the Christmas trades uh, videos and you'll see what I did for his. Uh, I think I'll be detailing this one. I like it, and uh, but I'm gonna add some details to it now that it's open. Okay. Um, this is the Batman and Robin Batmobile, which I probably have two or three of these, but I don't have any that are open yet. All right, this is a cool car. Now I have some. I have this version car from Yukio. I got it for my birthday last year. It came in a, a little tub um, that um, I guess the tub the it was a cap for some fruit or something like that. And he sent it to me from Tokyo, and uh, so that's the only other one that I have open. Um, I'm customizing this one. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with it, Tom. And it might be coming back to you. You've been warned. Okay. All right, here we go. We are getting to even more better good stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this... Is perfect because I need the headlights. I, I I need this for something else, um, and I will be able to use that. I'll modify it and use it. And uh, and Yukio, I will use the mold stuff that you gave me. This is a perfect chance. I'm gonna have to take this and put it into the mold, pour the resin into it, and. Um, Okay, because uh, I'm doing a different truck. It's a GMC truck, but it's got the double headlights, not the one headlight. So I've got to fabricate that for the, the build that I'm doing. So perfect timing. Now, I'm not sure why this is in a container. Other than he just had them as loose cars. Um, doesn't look like it's been customized yet. Thank you, Tom. I might actually take this one and degasser it. Right? I know. Ed, Eddie's probably shocked right now. All right. Breathe, Eddie. Breathe. It's okay to degas or something. And I've got another one here, right? And I don't know. Maybe I'll degas or both of them and send one back to you, Tom. I love that comet. Cyclone comet. Okay. All right. And we have more Spork Syndicate stickers. Okay, now this one, I have one of these I'm not sure why. Maybe to keep it from bouncing around that phone in it. Looks like this is just a loose one. It's in better condition than the other one that I have. So I will keep this one on my shelf and I will customize the other one. Awesome. So I don't know if you can see that or not. But this is a Batmobile. There you go.
All right. Okay, so I made one of these and I turned it into a, uh, a Mountain Dew. Uh, what do you call that stuff? Uh, you know, livery or yeah, something along those lines. But um, so now I can make one for myself because I sent that one off to Yukio because uh, he's a, a Mountain Dew guy and uh, he sent me another one of these back because he already had one and he's not, a, not really a collector, uh, but he'll keep your custom. And uh, so the one that he bought, um, yeah, long story there, he was looking for one and uh, by the time I found one for him to send to him, he had already bought it. And so I just decided to customize it. And um, now I've got a couple of them. These, these disappear really quick. Everybody buys these. So thank you, not an easy one to find. Okay. And this is a just truck. This is a 2011 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. And um, I actually think I know what I'm going to do with this one. I am going to customize it. There's an... I know somebody in the land of Instagram that has an F3 and has some really particular art on it. And I have not been able to find an F3. But maybe I can just make him a modern F-150. That's an idea. Okay. And now the piece de resistance. This, because it's the only thing that's left, has to be the custom from the buddy trade. No Dear Santa letter. That's all right, Tom. I think I know what you want. Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a modified fast fish. And um, so... Tom and I used this casting to do pro touring, and I believe this was in March. So go back to his channel in March to see him make this one. And then watch my video back in March for the pro touring, and you'll see which one that Tom is going to get. I love, like, the, the cables that we've got here, the lines um, for... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing these are cooling lines or something. Uh, he, he went all out. There is a Washington State license plate on the back here. And it is too small for me to read. I'll have to take a picture of it. And of course, it's got his sports syndicate. So, yeah. Very cool. Um, black mat. It's kind of like, it's almost a Batman pro touring. It's kind of like what Bruce Wayne would drive if he was pro touring. So, great job, Tom. It's March and, of last year, right? 2023. No. I don't think so. March this year was St. Patrick's Day. Maybe it wasn't March. All right, you're just going to have to go backwards until you find the Pro Touring. I know I haven't had it for a year. But thank you. Anyways, Tom, yours is coming out to you. You should have it next week, your box. Um, there is something that I'm trying for the very first time, and you guys will see that video. And uh, 
when I get it all figured it out and I get it completed, it'll go in the box and the box will get ma mailed. So I guess clock is ticking on that one, right? Because uh, I already have your box. I know we were going to send these boxes out to each other since um, March or whenever the... Um, whenever the the build was done this is awesome you did a great job all right well i'll go ahead and put this on the turntable for you to see and we're going to put this one on the turntable for you to see so uh don't go anywhere and then um i want to thank you guys for for watching and uh Stay tuned for other stuff that I'm doing. Look, my stuff is already getting stolen while I'm standing here. That's okay. Yes, there's five. What, four for me, one for you? Mm -mm. All right. One for me and four for her? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling. Put my Texaco truck down. All right. She's going to steal my bank. All right. Well, I don't know. I mean, I almost feel like saying, I love you guys. <laughs> this is, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know why not. Please like and share. And uh, I look forward to seeing what all you guys are doing. All right. Thanks again, Tom.